If you're an enthusiast and you are out there shopping for your daily driver, but you want something a little bit spicy that gives you a little extra economy as well on top of it, well, I've got two options here for you and we're gonna pin them head to head. So starting off with our more budget-friendly option, I have a 2008 Honda Civic, but it's not just any Civic. This is the SI Civic, which in 2008 was the hottest version that you could get here in the States. So this SI is based off of the eighth generation Honda Civic. And previous to this one, it only came in a hatchback if you were to get the Civic SI. But with this guy, it came with a, either a sedan or like this one, you can get it in a coupe. Now hiding under the hood of the Civic Si is a two liter K series engine with VTEC. And this one is pumping out 197 horsepower and 139 pound feet of torque, all going through the six speed manual to the front wheels. Oh, and this thing has limited slip differential. <laughs> Now hopping inside, it is pretty basic. I mean, it is based off of the Honda Civic, which was kind of just like a little economy car, but it does give you these nice bolstered seats that have the SI badge right here on the back, as well as that six speed manual, which today is kind of a warm day and boy, is that actually really hot to the touch, but I kind of like this two tiered uh, dash that they have going on where you have your speed up there that'll show in, uh, your speed digitally. And then you also have your tachometer down here front and center. So you can kind of see them both right at the same time, makes it kind of nice and adds to the driving experience. Let's uh, get this thing out on the road, take it for a little spin because I mean, that's really what these cars are all about, right? They're, these aren't, <sighs> You know, let's be real, these aren't show cars. These aren't the kinds of cars you show up that are gonna draw a crowd at the car show. But what they will do is put a smile on your face when you're out driving them around. And especially the Civic version will get you back and forth to work, to family events, to outings, whatever you need, while giving you a little bit of a fun experience as well. Oh yeah. Ooh, and you can kind of feel that VTEC and the higher revs there kick in a little bit. I don't think I quite got to all of it yet. So let's get it out onto a public road where I can get up to a proper speed. Oh yeah, you kind of feel it kick in there. Almost like right around that 6,000 RPM range that VTEC kind of kicks in. It's not quite as uh, explosive as a turbo but it does give you a similar sensation without necessarily giving you forced induction into the, the engine. And of course, we need to talk about pricing, right? Because in all reality, the Civic Si that really competes with the Focus ST would probably be the ninth generation, but this is what we have today. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a viewpoint of two different price options. So you can get this vehicle right here for about 10 grand and you could probably find them a little bit cheaper out there maybe in a little worse condition a little bit higher miles um, so it's a pretty good bargain for the amount of fun that you have and now when this was new they were recording 0 to 60 times of about 6.7 seconds whereas the Focus ST they were about 5.9 seconds and now up here at elevation you are going to see a much bigger difference actually this is probably going to be way slower than the Focus ST, simply because this does not have the forced induction of the Focus. But that Focus, on average, from what I'm seeing in the market, is about four to $5,000 more than this guy. And so I think, you know, considering you can pick one of these up in kind of rough condition for maybe seven grand, you know, maybe topping out in the, the $10,000 mark, you're getting a pretty good performance for the amount of money or the lack of money that you are spending. Now, I, I kind of enjoyed that VTEC so much. I want to get it out one more time. All right, I'm going in first so we can get all of it. Ooh, yeah. You can kind of hear the difference when you get it up into that above 6,000 range. The, the engine makes a distinct noise difference when you get up in there and 
yeah, VTEC, yo, you can feel it. So this one does have actually a pretty spacious trunk, but it does not have a very spacious back seat because this is just the two door, whereas the Focus that I'm driving today, well, they only came in four door hatchback versions. Again, this you could not get in a hatch as well. So I think this is maybe slightly more practical considering you actually have a rear hatch that you could use and you could fold down those back seats to have a ton of practicality. And that really is kind of the difference. I think the closer competitor would probably be if I had the four door version of the Civic, but this is what we have today. So that's what we're going with. All right, so under the hood of this is Ford's two liter four cylinder engine with a turbo on it. So this does have quite a bit more power packing 252 horsepower and 270 pound feet of torque. Now this one has an aftermarket intake, which is uh, not my favorite thing to see because that's kind of what I like to call like a hot air intake because it's just bringing in hot air from inside. But it does, uh, I guess you could say it makes the engine a little bit louder. So there's that. Now on the interior, of the Focus ST, I will say this has the standard Focus ST seats rather than the optional like Recaro bolstered ones. And I kind of prefer these. They're, especially for someone of my stature, that's a little bit wider. It fits me pretty well. I would say it's even more comfortable than the Civic. And again, you have a six speed manual. And although this looks like metal, because it's plastic, I can grab onto it in this heat and it's not going to burn my hand. And the rest of the interior, I mean, you've got a nice leather bolstered steering wheel on here. You do have a traditional type of gauge cluster that does have a screen in the center. And then this is an aftermarket radio, but you do have just kind of your traditional um, HVAC controls. And yeah, I mean, this is a fairly low optioned one, but you could get them with a sunroof and a few other nice things on the inside. But if I were to get an ST, I'd probably go with this spec, just maybe not with the aftermarket radio. Now we get to take out the Focus ST. And keep in mind, as I mentioned already in the Honda, this is probably a four to $5,000 more expensive vehicle because these only came out in 2013. And although that may, since we're talking classics on the classics channel here, that may seem like a fairly new vehicle to you, but that was 10 years ago, guys, that this Focus ST came out. And so they're starting to get a little, little bit long in the tooth. I don't know that I would say they're classic status yet. Um, they're definitely like a future classic though, I think. But this thing has got over 50 horsepower more than the, uh, the Civic. And not only that, this has uh, been messed with a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I've, um, in typical Focus fashion, or Focus ST fashion, it's got a cold air intake, sounds like a blow off valve, uh, and an aftermarket radio, which I think these came with Bluetooth from the factory. So I don't know what the point of that is, but it's what we got. But let's uh, get into that turbo and see what it does. Oh yeah, got a little bit of a wheel spin there, gaining on the second. And you know, to be honest, like it's it's definitely faster, but I will say it doesn't, I don't know if it's just because this, this is maybe a little more uh, insulated, but it doesn't feel like as raucous as the Civic Si. The Civic Si to me feels like it's it's a little more of a visceral experience. Like you really feel that VTEC power kick in when you get into the high RPM ranges on it. This one, yeah, you can feel that turbo kick a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Okay. There's, so you gotta get it at just the right point to get that turbo to kick in. Let's see if I can do it again. So let's see, so we're at about, 2,500 RPM, maybe let's go 3,000 RPM. Can we floor it? Oh yeah. 
that's the sweet spot right there. So you want to get it into that 3000 and above RPM range and then put the pedal to the floor and that's when everything just kind of fires all at once. All right, I want to give it one more fair shake here up at the light. Now these cold air intakes are, let's say cold air intakes because although they're called that, you know, you really need to feed it somewhere where it's actually drawing in cold air. I think they kind of do more harm than good, to be honest, when they're bringing in all that hot air. And yeah, I mean, this is definitely quicker. It just, again, it doesn't have that visceral feeling because that that VTEC, I mean, it's, I know an age, age old saying of the VTEC, right? But when that VTEC kicks in, man, it, you really feel it and you really feel like just kind of like the engine just kind of straining to give you everything it's got and it feels a little more boy racer-ish than the Focus. If anything, this Focus almost feels, even with the modifications, just a little more tame, honestly. It feels like if if you wanted to grow up a little bit, you know, like you, you had the Civic Si as a kid and now you're an adult and you want to do adult things, you get the Focus ST because it does feel a little more civilized. So a big shout out to Jesse over at Booth Motors because he's the one that helped set this up and these are actually both for sale on their lot right now. So if one of them interests you, make sure to hit them up. But I also want to know in the comment section below, which one would you take? Would you take the Honda Civic Si with its practicality and reliability? Or would you take something a little more spicy, a little more proper hot hatchy with the Ford Focus ST? Thank you so much for watching. This has been Alex behind the camera and Brendan. Take care, guys. <laughs>